No. I did, uh, I did this uh, segment uh, once before. Dave Armstrong eats. It's a uh, Dave Armstrong eats. Chomp, chomp. <laughs> uh, this week uh, I went to uh, Chuck's new place of working, Colburn Lane, and uh, the food there is different. It's very weird. I describe it as uh, I wrote down. Like eating dinner at a restaurant on a Star Wars planet. And they have like uh, they make ice cream at your table with like liquid nitrogen. And there's all these weird gels and hot and cold stuff. It's uh, it's unlike anything else that you'd ever eat. Uh, it, it's very interesting. Um, I wasn't sure. I was worried that like after I ate there. My poo would be like cappuccino. <laughs> and it was all like foamy and liquidy and it melts in your mouth. Uh, but that didn't happen. Oh, good. So I give that uh, uh, a 27 Daves out of Dave. Uh, the highest score I've ever given and the only score I've ever given. Ooh, 27 Daves, Daves out of Dave. Out of Dave. Wow. Would you like the Wagyu beef? Yeah, man, that was the best one. The yeah. Wagyu beef? Wagyu. Wagyu. Oh, Wagyu. It's uh, one grade lower than Kobe. I like that because it was like, the, it had meat, and it was like, really meat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, I, when I worked there, I had heard like stories about it, and I was like worried that, that your meat wouldn't be meat, but that's not the case. I, no. I think I over, over like, imagined. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Well, you described something that was like, uh, the way you described it, I thought it was going to come into play and there was going to be like a chestnut <laughs> frozen. And then you pour this warm soup over it and it melts into the soup. But that wasn't the case, actually. <laughs> That's not the actual, it was a, like a ball of ice foamy stuff. Well, what it, what it actually is, is it's the puree of a chestnut. Puree okay? of and a chestnut. And then they dip it in the liquid melts. nitrogen and they, and, and they have uh, something that makes it form into that uh, sphere, Ooh, and it's about the size of a golf ball. And then when you pour the hot liquid to it, it reacts and dissolves. So these foods aren't from any particular country, but scientists design these foods, is what you're saying? It's uh, Somebody made it up. Uh, molecular oh. gastronomy. Who made this up? <laughs> Who invented this? People of Spain, probably. Some I think it's Spain. Spain. Yeah, that's Spain. where, that's where Claudio, that's where Claudio learned a lot of his yeah. technique mm -hmm. is in Spain. Spain also invented tapas, which are just like little dishes of yummy food, except in Spain, they're free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unless you go to like a fancy place, but like traditional tapas are just put in front of you during a certain like happy hour, and then you can order them other times. Did you know that I'm a tapa? Listen. Oh, All right, oh. and that's David. <laughs> <laughs> good, that ends, that, that's Say, a good ending do, for that. Do it. Well, oh, just at the beginning. Oh, just at the beginning? Yeah. Okay. You, you sure you don't want to do it like three times in a row? <laughs> the chomp music? No. In 3D. <laughs> <laughs>